death row, everybody. just seen that right there right I know y'all just seen that what I just seen but another one sitting right down at the bottom boy she'll be coming she'll be coming to see me real soon guys real soon got an old Subaru Outback I got another one up here in the front now. I mean, back here in the back where I'm at. So both of these suckers right here, I got to get the mold out of both of these and then crush these suckers. Oh, boy, boy, boy. I'll tell you one thing about the all wheel drives. They are a pain in the ass. Boy, they are a big pain in the ass to deal with. But the best way to do these if you want to do it the death row way then you just drop the whole stuff right cut everything and just drop the whole stuff right and be done simple as that simple as that and there's my other one sitting right there on the top right there so from what y'all saw me pick up these two Subarus right here so this red one right here is a Subaru Legacy Outback. And then you have the 2002 Subaru Outback here. And as I was explaining earlier inside the loader, when I mean the death row, the death row way of dropping a motor out of a Subaru the fastest way. So the fastest way you really wanna do it is just hit that boat right there Get that other boat right there. You do that on the same side. Get that one right there. Go ahead and cut your pipes right there. Cut your pipe there. You cut your pipe behind the little, the little uh, heat shield right here. That'll be one converter. And then you ain't got no second converter, so you can just basically cut the pipe. And then to go ahead and do the transmission mount, you basically just go ahead and hit these two right there. Hit those two on that side right there. You can hit right here in the middle there to kind of help it out a little bit. And then plus this is a stick shift. And then you really basically gonna have to cut this pipe right here, move the heat shield. Then you're gonna have to cut the drive shaft that's sitting right there. And then you have to cut the, uh, the stick shift right there. And then make sure you do not forget to take these two bolts out too also when you're actually doing the uh, the whole K-frame because these two bolts right here are part of the K-frame. And this section right here is part, is part of the K-frame itself, but is mainly designed for the, for, the, uh, for the transmission itself. So like I said, that's the easiest way of doing it, the quick way. Now that you finished the whole entire bottom of the car then you're going to come up here to the top you want to get those three bolts right there not the one in the middle but one two and three you want to make sure you get that one right there too get the doggy bone because if you don't that sucker will hang and hang do the same thing right there hit those three go ahead and cut your throttle cables everything else and then shake that baby out welcome to death row got a 1997 Subaru legacy outback guys I remember before my grandmother passed away she had a Subaru legacy it was like a 90 model one too also I know it's gonna be upside down, guys, but it's the best way. She had one right before she passed. I ended up selling that baby to Aaron. He ended up selling almost every part of this sucker. 
And he still got the car up there at his yard still today. Man. There's something right there. That other car sitting on top of it. That's the reason why they baby like that. Boy, boy, boy. And there's the um, O2 Super out back over there. It is what it is, y'all.